We're talking Texas politics in the Texas's legislative session. Yesterday, the House approved a new $302 billion spending plan for the next two years. It includes pay raises for state employees, tax cuts, and additional mental health services. But tonight, many are really focusing in on the pay raises for state employees, specifically teachers. Yeah, teachers groups feel like the House isn't being fair to educators. Tonight, 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert is getting reaction from the president of the Texas State Teachers Association. Cam, what is she telling you? Yeah, guys, the Texas House approved a historic $302 billion spending plan, but it only includes $5 billion in new money for education. The TSDA says they're disappointed, and they say the problems facing teachers right now may only get worse. They can do better, and what they're showing us right now is that um, we're not a priority. On Thursday, the Texas House approved a new state budget for the next two years. It includes pay raises for state employees, including teachers. We're not getting a lot for our students. We're not getting a lot for our communities. And so uh, it is very frustrating to know that this is possibly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the state of Texas to do what's right for our students. Ovidia Molina is in her third year as president of the Texas State Teachers Association. The once-in-a-lifetime opportunity she's talking about is a historic $37 billion budget surplus. Molina questions lawmakers' priorities. Is that travel across our great state, one thing I hear loud and clear, property taxes are suffocating Texans. We must fix that this session. The TSDA wants a minimum increase of $10,000 per teacher. Representative Trey Martinez Fisher pushed for $10,000 instead of $3,800, but the vote fell short. In Texas, we love to be number one for everything, but we're not number one to uh, how we pay our educators. We're not number one on um, per student allotment. We're not number one in truly supporting our public schools. In 2021, the average public school teacher's salary in the United States was just over 65,000. In Texas, it was over 57,000, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Molina says without higher salaries, teacher shortages will only get worse. Larger class sizes. We're talking about programs that uh, are beneficial to our students, that will enrich their lives, that will make them uh, successful adults in our communities going away. We're, we're going to see schools shutting down. So the budget bill passed in the House 136 to 10 was the vote. Some who voted against it cited not enough money for public schools and teachers. The bill is now headed to the Senate floor. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.